hey 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 welcome back to my channel and as you can see today we are going to make the famous italian lasagna now if you've never had this you need to give this a try it is so so delicious and the good thing about it is that it's so easy and fast to make without wasting much time let's just get started first of all i am going to be needing some fresh pasta and this is um, lasagna pasta from giovanni rana now I must say you can use the regular hard pasta but you would have to boil it for about 10 minutes before using it but this is already made you don't need to boil it. So as you can see they are sheets of pasta. Now you know if you have to make lasagna you need two different kinds of sauces. We have the white and the red and this is the white one this is the famous French bechamel sauce. If you don't know how to make bechamel sauce I have the link in the description box you can check it out. Then we are going to need a red sauce which is the bolognese sauce. If you don't know how to make bolognese sauce I have the link in the description box just go check it out and I must say the amount you use depends on your taste so I'll get my ceramic bowl ready then I will come in with a sheet of pasta as you know this sheet doesn't look big enough to you know fill the bowl so I'll just come in with another piece next I'll come in with my bolognese sauce I'll make sure I spread it all over the sheet on top of it, I will come in with my bechamel sauce and I will spread this on top as well. Next, I will come in with, you know, another set of pasta sheets. Then repeat the same process. So basically, this is what I'm going to do till I use up my sheets. So we're all done here and I'm going to come in with some mozzarella cheese. You can grate in a little bit of parmesan if you want to, it is optional. So it's ready to go into the oven and I have preheated my oven to 180 degrees celsius. I will bake this for about 25 minutes. So it's been after 25 minutes and ladies and gentlemen our lasagna is ready. I'll just sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top of it and I'll cover it up with an aluminium foil. This will help trap in the moisture whilst I'm allowing it to cool down. So let's just cut a piece. And guys, this is so delicious. I don't know, but I must say lasagna tastes way better the next day. So it's advisable to make it a day before the actual day you are going to need it. And you can keep this in the fridge for a maximum of three days. 